gems. It was yeah. the nineties, the dark so, ages. So, so I was I was starting to go see them because uh, I was like, oh fuck, they're from Chicago. What? And at first I'm like, ah, we don't need to see them. They're from Chicago. They'll always play. But then I realized how old they were, so I started seeing them regularly. And I think I saw them twice with you. And then the third time, when I went with you, like every time. I don't know. There's just certain people you go to a show with and you have a fucking connection. We just dance goofy. Hell we have yes. a fucking good good time. Do who you gives a tobacco? Sh- who gives a shit if you're wearing a Thrill Kill Cult shirt at a restaurant full of tie-dyes, you know? <laughs> exactly right. And so so I this time I'm like, you know what? My brother's super goofy. He gets really fucking like stupid at He he likes to go to sh- He doesn't like to go out to shows. So um he, when I take him to anything, he just sort of likes to mock it or make fun of it. That I li- just to sort of like hi- ha- like he's lighten pro- the mood. He's projecting his sadness on you. Yes, and um, so I'm like, fuck, man, we should go. You have to go to Thrill Kill Cult. You don't understand. You could do whatever you want there. You could just literally just. It's a great place to dance. When you're not a dancer, because I am not a dancer, I dance horrible, and I danced. So I take them, and I go, at the time, I had a, I was selling a shitload of weed, sure. and my uncle was a huge customer, and uh, he told me that, uh, I was like, well, I got to make a shitload of brownies, because I had, <laughs> I had two customers, they were uh, like computer CEO, computer company CEOs. They're like, yeah, we like your shit, but uh, we love your brownies. Like, I made brownies one time, and I made, like, 12, and they're like, dude, they're amazing, because I looked up, like, how do you make it the, you know, how do you make it the most, the, the most purified, strongest, sure. compressed shit, and I made this hash oil. Funfetti. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah, it was just black. You know when you get the hash pens, and it's, like, yellow? This stuff was black. I literally just, I, while I was making it, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to taste it. And I was high making it because, and and I asked my uncle. My my uncle kind of reminds me of a uh, sly version of Borat. I was like, oh, so listen, I'm going to make a shitload of brownies. Where can I do this? Because it stinks up the house and weed already smells. Well, if uh, you give me some for free, maybe you can do it here. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, all right, well, uh, and that's when what can family's I, when, all about. Exactly, family first. Exactly right. And so I, so I, I'm like, well, how much? Can? He's like, oh, I don't care, man. I'm gonna have a brownie. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So I, I go over there and I made eighty brownies. And uh, Wait, can you tell the rest of the story in the voice of your uncle? I go cool. over there. I'm like, oh, fuck, oh, shit. I'm going to make Eddie Brownies. I'm a chef, you know, Chef Marek. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's enough of that. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he'd be able to be a good chef with that voice. You know? no. Oh, yeah, this spaghetti I fucked up. So <laughs> what? Let's, uh, let me rape you. You, know? you should make uh, a, a YouTube video of you making brownies with that voice. I sh- I've, oh, man, come on. Oh man, I shouldn't have tasted it. <laughs> My hand is on fire. <laughs> let's 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 check if the mic is good. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, I, so I made eighty brownies. All of them were bought by these two computer nerds. Like it was fucking crazy. They they sold, but so I had a few and um. Despite making our uh, my brother, I'm not even getting get into that, but. Point point is, I made I made a Thanksgiving video of yeah. my brother and I fucked up on these brownies, but these brownies were super fucking strong. And there you was went su- to the concert and you danced. Oh no! So, I I was offering my brother smokes a lot of weed, and I'm like, yo, I'll give you a brownie. I the one thing I want, and he's like, no, I don't know if I want to go. Still, I'm like, well, dude, that's the one birthday present I want. I want you to go with me and see this band. You don't have to buy me shit. I'm buying you tickets. Just dance your fucking ass off, dude. I I remember talking to people telling me they haven't taken acid as strong as that brownie was because or or enough at, like as strong as that affects you. And I had half of one. Half hour goes by. 
It's before the show, before my brother's going to drive me, and I'm like, ah. Brownie's not working. Not working. Got to eat more. Got to eat. I eat the rest of the brownie. Still not working. It's an hour and a half. We're, we're like about to reach. I'm like, fuck this shit. I ate a second one. As soon as we get to the show. Wom, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. I, yeah. It, that's what it feels like. If it, it feels like what I remember is um, you feel like everyone's going to attack you. And it felt like hair was growing rapidly from my ears. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's how it felt. It was just like you hear static. Like it's a really bad panic, really bad panic attack about everything. I'm not liking this. I need to go home. Where's my teddy bear? Like, and I go in there, and the fir- of of course, now everybody's probably like, well, what the fuck is the? Why would you go to some crazy industrial band on brownies? And I said, well, in order to test that these are the good shit, even though after selling seventy five, I'm like, well, I got to go to the scariest fucking thing and see how these work. And what do you know? Sure enough, they work. Th- thrill kill called the first thing I see. It's like a 50-year-old woman who was probably like a passed-around junkie Mm-mm-mm. back in the day wearing a tutu. Her skin is sagging worse than my nutsack will in 10 years from now. It was absolutely... And she looked like somebody who tanned too much. So kind of, I, I'm guessing it kind of looks like um, Trump's nutsack because it, it was kind of orangey. All right. But anyways... Now I got to go I, masturbate. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> So I, I I ran out of the show crying. I just walk in. They take my ticket. I run out of the show crying. I'm crying drastically. My brother's running after me. He's like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, I can't take this. I can't. Just walk with me for a second. And we walked about a mile and then a mile back. He's like, he's like dude, dude, you just pay. Dude, what the hell is wrong? He's kind of like half laughing at me. Oh, why are you laughing at me, dude? We're just going for a walk. I need I need some support right now. Why I'm trying to see that I want to have a good you know good experience with seeing this band. Uh, well, we're two fucking miles away. <laughs> we, and we start. Walking, I'm like, dude, no, dude, let's just go home. He's like, dude, the show didn't even fucking start, and you're already crying. I'm like, I saw that those fucking Trump nutsacks in a tutu. Let's get out of here. And I didn't see them. What's funnier is the next. So I had this experience. I go home. It was absolutely horrible. It got, it went on for three days. Not kidding. Three fucking days. Everything is after me. There's hair growing out of every side of my fucking body. And I just, I, I want to like rub against everything f- to take the panic away. Just like start a fire with my body in the friction of the carpet. And third day, I just go up to my brother in tears. I grabbed him by the fucking shirt. And I'm like, listen, I got this assault knife here. If I'm going to be permanently retarded from this, I want you to fucking slip my throat because I don't want you and mom to see me get fucking mentally, like just have fucking mental pro- I don't want to be a vegetable. Happy I thought I was going to. I would never smoke her after that experience. No, no. yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm never going to do edibles. After me. that, I'm never going to do edibles again. Never again. Oh, not with that attitude. Ne- Come on, chin up. Never again. And, and, and what's so, so here's where the, the story escalates even funnier. The next year, 25th anniversary of Thrill Kill Cult. I was going out with Kelly. She hadn't been to a lot of shows with me. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. First date was uh, Pizza Underground, which you know what that is. Oh, my God. I remember when you went oh. to that show. <laughs> yeah. And I you? was going to take that. T- that was Milwaukee, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're going to. But we fell in love, Bill, over oh. Macaulay Culkin covering Velvet Underground. Man. And they passed out dominoes during the shit in the mosh pit instead of people fighting. There's pizza, man. You know, but God, that's a real you Disney got a problem fairy with tale. That? You got a problem with that? Then I get into Oh, dude, that's beautiful. Uh, so 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 we so I get through a kill call. I'm like, oh, VIP package. I want to impress Kelly because she's a new girlfriend. Get VIP package, meet and greet. <laughs> I'm sitting there with Groovy Man, the singer, backstage. Don't know what to say. Cause you you just chill with the band backstage for an hour, you could do whatever the fuck you want, and everybody's there like, oh yeah, you know that '88 show when I uh, was still doing heroin, but my I I didn't get to see my kids, you know, 
<laughs> Everybody's just telling these stories. <laughs> you know, like, all, it's just these ridiculous past stories. And I'm just like, so I went to see you guys two years ago, but I ran out of the show because I took too many drugs. But um, I'm never going to take drugs when I see you guys. But I didn't even see her perform. I'm just, like, rambling to an idol, you know? And he's just like, sure. yeah, I used to take a lot of drugs back in the day. <laughs> I was like, oh, I ruined it. <laughs> oh, that's powerful bonding. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I saw them this year. Didn't take any brownies. And, yeah, didn't panic. So that was good. When I saw them in Austin, they were on stage for so long that the venue turned the lights off on them. Really? Yeah. So they were performing like they performed like three songs and. You guys darkness. gotta leave. Yeah. Well, sh- doors opened at nine thirty. They didn't hit the stage until midnight, and then oh, like wow, it was like one thirty. Yeah. When and, there, and there was no op- or was there an opener? There was an opener who came on at like ten, and then like they were done at like eleven. Yeah, I want to say, and then there was like an hour of like nothing. Wow. Except for me drinking a lot of Texas beer. A lot of Texas. How's the Texas Lone beer? Lone Star. L- I drank my fair share of Lone Star, but um, what was it? Shiner, they called it. And I don't know, there's some like grapefruit like brand of it. And so it was like Shiner Ruby Red and whatever. I wasn't paying for it. Aaron treated me for my birthday. But yeah, uh, there I was, just Mr. Tie-Dye Man sitting in the crowd. And it was awesome. Get fucked up, dude.